have you ever been so kind? Just walking down the road If you've ever been so kind You're not alone Have you ever been profiled because of where you live? If you've ever been profiled, you know what injustice is. This is Peter Desmond Kelly, host of Peter the Healer, Your Celestial Broadcaster, the place for great interviews where I ask the questions nobody else does. And what you were just listening to was a track by Canadian reggae artist, uh, Humble, who has uh, really uh, been around for about a good 15 years now, but uh, he has songs that... Uh, just really hit the heart and are so relevant. That song you just heard, uh, Profiled, was written in 2014, and it is so relevant today, of course, in the wake of uh, the uh, unfortunate uh, murder, in fact, uh, of George Floyd in Minnesota, and all of the, uh, of course, subsequent uh, demonstrations and riots, etc and Black Lives Matter uh, movement, it's so relevant today. Uh, unfortunately, we still have to be wary of the fact that there is some kind of systemic racism going on uh, that is, uh, is not acceptable. And uh, it's through artists like Humble 
that this particular subject gets more and more uh, awareness. Uh, great song. Uh, he's got a lot more songs. In fact, what you see behind me is his latest uh, release uh, that just came out July 11th, Never the Same. And uh, in a few moments, you're actually going to meet him. I'm going to interview him, and I'll be highlighting a lot of other songs that he has written that have, uh, in fact, uh, made uh, uh, him a real uh, Canadian star, Juno Award winning with his uh, album, Everything. So we're going to uh, just break for a moment, and when we come back, we'll be talking with Humble. Hello? 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 Hi? 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 Is this Peter the Healer? Uh, yes. 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 No, no, actually, no, actually I'm the audio engineer for the show, uh, Peter the Healer, your celestial broadcaster. Where is Peter the Healer? Uh, yeah, that's, a, that's a good question. I actually don't know. Uh, I've been trying for the last uh, 10 minutes trying to reach him. But he's not answering. Hmm. Have you tried tuning into 528 Hertz, the love frequency? Uh, no, that, that's a good idea. Uh, I'll give it a try. Let's see what happens. Hey, you know what? I think I'm getting some radio noise. Hello? Hello? Anybody out there? DJ, the producer Brasileiro, Rod Norvais. So I've just been in touch with uh, his publicist and she apologized and uh, she doesn't know what happened. She's tried to get in touch with uh, Humble. I said I would give uh, wait another 15 minutes. Yeah. So these are to be expected uh, nowadays in these times of uh, trouble and uh, people forget or whatever there lost somewhere on the cloud in heaven. Who knows where they are, but uh, you know where I am? I'm up in a spaceship looking down over the earth and I know that you guys are having a lot of problems, uh, you earthlings. I look down from uh, my spaceship up in the celestial realm and I see a lot of tension on the earth realm. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of people are taking out their frustration and hostility on each other, uh, which is not cool. I mean, come on. We got to work in on this together uh, before, you know, we have an, a third world war on our hands. Uh, and uh, it could uh, reach that if we're not careful, you know. The, the armed power is certainly uh, there and uh, we don't want that to happen. Uh, let's please pray that we're going to come together and make this earth a peaceful uh, thousand years starting today. And uh, certainly the artist, hopefully he'll be showing up in a few minutes, uh, Simon Humble, I hope he's not upset if I use his first name, but uh, it's very significant. Of course, Simon Peter was a disciple of Jesus. And I like to think that somehow I'm connected. Um, and certainly what I've seen in the music of Humble, a uh, very spiritual person. Uh, and the word, of course, the name of his, his, his uh, of course, title, the songwriter, is Humble. So that says a lot. I mean, if you're talking about uh, humility, uh, vulnerability, the strengths that Jesus possessed, um, and the vulnerability that comes through in his music is just amazing. Uh, I've just recently uh, come to know his music, and every song that I've listened to so far, I mean, he has quite a repertoire. 15 years at least of, of songs that are worthy of uh, number one hits 
and uh, I, I am just uh, spellbound by the uh, pure essence of love, uh, wisdom, sensitivity, and incredible um, voice. I mean, what a voice. It's just incredible. Um, and I'm so looking forward to interviewing him. We're going to have a number of us hits that I'm going to be uh, playing. Uh, and uh, you can judge for yourself exactly how you feel about this uh, great artist. And like all artists, musicians, songwriters uh, in this day and age with the COVID-19 pandemic, the lockdown, and all the social distancings, uh, they're really having a hard time. I mean, uh, all the venues and concert uh, places where they usually play, uh, clubs, bars, they've all been shut down. So for the last four or five months, they've had no revenue coming in. Their only source of revenue is coming from online purchases uh, from fans uh, such as yourself. So give these people some support and download. I'll be putting uh, the links to Humble's uh, great songs uh, at the end of this uh, broadcast. You'll see them. And uh, you can certainly uh, go to his various links and download uh, his many incredible songs. And, and believe you me, um, this day and age, you can get these, these uh, songs, these beautiful songs for a song. The old uh, uh, pun, uh, very appropriate because it really isn't uh, that expensive to download one song. I mean, what is it, one ninety nine or even less? I mean, I don't know exactly the the price that he has, but that's usually the price. And my goodness, I can remember the day when I would buy uh, the forty fives, the discs, and the uh, that was. You know, I won't. I won't tell you how old I am. But, uh, in those days, you buy a forty five, and that would be the cost. So. It's gone uh, very, very slowly up, uh, not very much. Uh, and uh, these musicians and songwriters uh, deserve a break. So please spend a few dimes, a few dollars and upload some of his great songs. Okay, I think we have him. Humble has arrived, and uh, I just want to introduce him before uh, we, uh, we go live with him. Uh, uh, Humble is a respected artist whose style is a unique blend of reggae, acoustic soul, and urban adult contemporary. He plays guitar on every track, and the production is groovy and full of ba bass. Humble is spiritually connected to his music and brings lyrics that are positive and uplifting to his fans. Humble is eager to share the project with fans and looks forward to going on tour again to perform with his uh, live band. And uh, I'm just asking him to unmute. If you can unmute, uh, you can join the interview. Hello, Simon. How's it going? Good. How are you doing? I'm good. 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 And and where are you? Uh, where are you located? Right now, um, I'm in Edmonton. Right now, actually. Edmonton. Okay. Cool. I'm I'm actually in a spacecraft, hovering over the city of Montreal. But I'm also connected to Laval, where we have these uh, spaceships where people go to uh, go through a kind of uh, sense of weightlessness okay so um that's where i'm coming from it's transmitted through uh laval which we used to be called ile de jesu um, and uh, i just played before uh, you came on uh i started with uh, one of your your older songs you, you wrote it in I think it was 2014 uh profiled oh yeah yeah, profile was a uh, yeah a song that came about after uh, we were dealing with a lot of 
police brutality at that time in uh, in in Toronto. Well, it was really all all over the world, but at the time I was in Toronto when I when I uh, wrote and recorded that song. Well, I got to tell you, it's just as powerful today as it was back then, uh, even more so today, of course, with uh, all the, the aftermath of, of uh, George Floyd's murder and uh, your uh, uh, beautiful voice and, and the powerful lyrics, uh, something that I just came to uh, understand uh, recently when, when I looked up your... your uh, repertoire of music and, and you've been uh, going for how many years now yeah it's been a while so, well uh really started professionally say uh 2005 uh okay. came up with my first album in 2006 okay so i was right i said earlier before you came on that i think it's about 15 years that you've been uh, uh writing songs and recording um, so tell me uh, a little bit about your, your background. How did all this start for you? The, the, the love for reggae and the, the music uh, of, of that uh, genre? Um, well, the love for reggae, I think, I, I almost believe like it was, it's almost like an inborn concept, really. I can remember as early as three, though. Um, my mom, my mom played a lot of reggae in the house, but I was captivated by an artist uh, named Johnny Nash okay. at that time. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, he wrote some songs for Bob Marley, and mm -hmm. uh, he was residing in England at the time, actually. And he had a big s song at that time called "Tears on My Pillow." So that song is like a song that I used to like sing in the house, and and. Uh, I would perform it for people that would c c come over and stuff. And I and this is when I was like three, I'm told. So, so from an early age, I remember being influenced by m music. It just happened to be reggae, because that was what was really played a lot in my house. Uh, and that was in Edmonton? Oh, no, this was in England. I was- Oh, in England, I, uh, okay. Yeah, I was born in England. My parents came to Canada when I was only three. So, so from a very early age, yeah, I was influenced yeah. by yeah. reggae. Yeah. But I didn't pick up a guitar uh, until I was um, out of high school, really. And then started to like practice chords on my own at that point. So you're pretty much a self-taught uh, musician? Yeah. And uh, you also have an incredible uh, voice. Your talent for singing is incredible. Uh, I just love it. I don't know if that's your phone or my phone, <laughs> but uh, we'll just let it ring. We'll let it ring. <laughs> um, I'm uh, looking now at uh, some of your repertoire of songs. Of course, we there's never the same that just came out i believe uh, on july 11th yes okay so we're, we're going to talk about that later but uh some of your songs uh i went through uh for example fool's run and i've got what i'd like to do i have these uh, queued up i'm going to play them uh from youtube and maybe you can tell uh, the audience a little bit about each song, the next one being Fool's Run, and how you came about uh, writing that song and what it's about. Fool's Run, yeah. Fool's Run, I, uh, kind of political, but I mean, um, I wrote that uh, when I was in Edmonton here. Uh, you know, there's a chorus, there's a there, there's a hook in that song saying that, you know, we got to get out of this system. And I know it, 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 uh, it may sound a little, uh, I don't know, harsh or, or to the point, but um, 
I was just, I think I was writing that from a standpoint of, you know, um, if you're here like struggling and, and trying to make ends meet and, and um, all of this kind of stuff is becomes such a burden for a lot of people. I think it's maybe it's a time to maybe rethink or reevaluate our whole uh, position here, you know, at times. And even though that's yeah. a hard thing to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And, and I think, I think especially I mentioned this uh, before you came on that for songwriters and musicians such as yourself, uh, the COVID-19 pandemic and lockdown has really impacted on uh, your revenue, your ability to go out and perform. Um, so if anyone knows how difficult it is right now, you certainly would know that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, because we're used to playing out and stuff and uh, we've never experienced anything like this. And yeah. I didn't think it would yeah. last this long. I'm sure a lot of people didn't. Yeah, so, it's really yeah. bad. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just jump over to this uh, song. I'm going to just share some uh, another song right now. It's called <laughs> Fool's Run. Great. Ooh, ah, don't let your dreams fade away. No. This life you're living, I hope it's your best one I hope you're learning every lesson Try and find a foot to step on And no matter what, just press on Press on No matter what, just press on Them I chase. Come, let's get out of this system. The way we need to go, cause we need to be free. Out of this system. I know there's many more like me who want out of this system. The way we need to go, cause we need to be free. Out of this system. Driving me crazy yeah. What you don't know now you don't need to know And what you know now you may let it go There's a feeling that to let it flow I know you feel it really deep down in your soul So We're watching fools run Let's get out of this system Get where we need to go Cause we need to be free Out of this system There's nothing here for me Out of this system Where we need to go Cause we need to be free Out of this system I hope you're ready
Okay, wow, that was uh, beautiful. And, and the landscape, was that in, uh, I'm just gonna shut that down, sorry. Uh, the landscape that was in uh, Edmonton, outside no, of Edmonton? Um, no, that was in, uh, we did that in Kensington Market in uh, Toronto. Okay, okay, wow. Beautiful, beautiful. And uh, yeah, so relevant uh, for people today to uh, try to, uh, you know, have some hope for tomorrow that things are going to get better, you know? Yep. And uh, I know that it's all the more uh, true for, for people like you that are in this, uh, this trade, uh, music and performing, my goodness. Um, uh, so uh, tell me, let's say about the next song. I thought it was "This Is Life." This is life, okay. Yeah, yeah. So this is life. We did that in uh, in Beaumont, in Alberta here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, uh, it's okay. been. Uh, well, I think you did it uh, in in April. At least that's when you you uploaded it on uh, YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We did that in yeah. Mm. Yeah. That was that was nice. Uh, that song, if you listen to it, it has kind of a country kind of feel to it almost a bit. Mm -hmm. um, I think being in Beaumont, being in Alberta, <laughs> that kind of rubbed off on me. Uh, the place where I was uh, in, Al in Alberta is it's real rural, real uh, a lot of farms and animals and cows and stuff. So. I think that whole thing just kind of influenced me and I got into that vibe of wanting to do something with a country kind of vibe to it. Okay, great. So I'm going to play that song in a moment.
We're now back with uh, my uh, guest, uh, Humble, and uh, I've been interviewing him uh, about uh, his uh, inspiration behind a lot of his uh, songs, and he's been going for a good 15 years now. Um, from, uh, tell me, uh, how did you come up with your name, Humble? That's your stage name. Mm. Um, Humble, um, came from this, all this, I, I, where I grew up in Toronto, I, uh, I was some, um, you know, I grew up a lot around, around a lot of Rasta, very and elders and at the time humble was just a name that they gave me because i was observant and quiet and mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. you know i i wouldn't cause a lot of trouble so i think they gave me that name just just after just observing how how i was and watch how i how i behaved and stuff they just kind of gave me that name and it stuck well, it's a very good name, I think, from uh, from my perspective, uh, because it uh, speaks of somebody who's not uh, aggressive or going out there and, uh, you know, being uh, very pushy. You're, as you said, observing, but I would sense you're also uh, sensitive and yeah. you have a certain vulnerability that comes through in your music and the spiritual element uh, is, is always there. It's always strong. Uh, yeah. I just, you know, I'm still uh, learning about your different uh, songs. What would you say is your favorite song that you've ever written? Um, on my first album, my opening track is called The Other Side. I, that's a song that I still hope I I, op I open with now, even still. So I think that song just means a lot to me, and just it's a song of redemption, mm -hmm. song of reflection. You know, main main court main line is that you know we're all we're gonna make it over to the other side. Um, yeah, I would say that song. Okay, let's see if I can. Find that song. Yeah. Oh. Captivity 
we're always conquering. I'll be always conquering. No matter what they do, they still won't control. No, our half of the story has got to be told. So the way. I'm coming with them. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, we're back. Uh, we were just listening to uh, the other side. And uh, Simon, you have no idea how much that affects me right now because I just lost a, a good friend and neighbor on Sunday. And uh, he was a, a great uh, biker. He loved to drive on his uh, hog. Harley Davidson, um, and uh, so he was, you know, getting on. He's 77 years old. Uh, didn't die from the COVID-19, but uh, he certainly uh, loved music. Uh, and uh, I, you know, did a show yesterday where I dedicated it to him, and I'm going to dedicate it to him again, Henry Michaud. I mean, in honor of you, that song says so much. Uh, uh, to finally be home in uh, where you can ride endlessly on your hog. It means a lot. And I'm sure it means a lot to, to different people, uh, Simon, in that way. Uh, when, you, when you wrote it, uh, what was your uh, inspiration? You know, that was one of my really early songs. If, if you could uh, turn up the volume, I'm having trouble with, with hearing you. That was really one of my earliest songs that I, that, that I wrote. Uh, so I was just like, to go. I think that was just coming from a real honest place at the time. Mm -hmm. You know, I was a fresh new artist trying to make a mark. Uh, so that... That's why I really hold that song dear because I still perform it now and I still perform it with this same enthusiasm, you know, and power yes. that um, yes. it invokes. And, and so, how would, sorry, how, how would you say it, it uh, is relevant today? I mean, it, there seems to be a lot more awareness of other dimensions, you know, like this interdimensional reality that we're not just living in a third dimension that, that we're all kind of connected to other realities um, and obviously the other side uh, meaning you know the next place after this realm right right um, so, and and uh, I think yeah, I think it, I think now it probably even has more uh, people are waking up more people yeah. are 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 more aware so at one time this song i think at one time this song it it meant a very vague kind of explanation to, to a lot of people that they, they weren't really sure but i think now it's they're getting a more clearer picture of what i'm what i'm trying to say yeah yeah in the song and and yeah, it even made me rethink uh, that whole concept of the other side. Uh, so yeah, that's why it's an important song to me. 
in my own, I mean, like, I, I do a lot of meditating and that kind of stuff. And uh, so I'm kind of in touch with that kind of spiritual realm, I guess you could say. So for me, it's not that far fetched, but um, I'm a more spiritual artist. So um, yeah, it's great. I mean, I these kind of songs are just what make me who I am. Yeah, it uh, certainly defines you uh, as a very uh, distinct uh, artist. Uh, you know, there's all kinds of uh, music out there today that sounds pretty much the same. Yeah. But uh, even though there's a lot of uh, reggae that's been around, uh, especially with Bob Marley making it uh, uh, very popular, I, I don't think I've heard another artist as unique as you in the reggae genre of music because it, it, it just sort of transcends, you know, yeah. let's use a spiritual term. I mean, it transcends the uh, 3D. Uh, so it, it kind of gives you a sense that you're rising above everyday problems and, and you kind of are looking down uh, kind of like, like you're, uh, a third person looking down and over uh, what's happening and giving hope no matter what uh, there's going to be light at the end of the tunnel right, right. because I mean with me uh, as an artist I'm I'm in this same place as everyone else but I guess if I can sing from a, a standpoint where uh, or make people think that I'm coming from a standpoint where uh, I'm coming from another perspective totally, even though we're really all in the same place. Um, then that's great because that's what it's about. If I can, if we can all be in the same place and I can give you a, just a brighter perspective on what we all are looking at, then that's awesome. Yeah, and I, and I really get the sense uh, that you are, through your music, you are connecting people to a higher place. So, I, hope for sure. so. yeah, I know, I, I know, I feel, I, I feel that you're up with me in my spaceship, looking down mm -hmm. upon earthlings and with a helping and supportive heart. Right. Helping to guide people through the struggles uh, that are happening. I mean, day, there's the day-to-day -day struggles, and then you add to that uh, the, uh, the, the pandemic that we're now facing. Um, and that, of course, just adds to the day-to-day the -day struggles that we all have. Uh, and then just by, you know, tuning into one of your songs, for that period, in a few minutes, it's like your soul is lifted to a place that is surrounded by angels and God and everything's going to be okay. Beautiful, beautiful, wonderful. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, if you have anything else that you'd like to tell your fans and my audience, uh, by all means, uh, anything coming up, any songs, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna close uh, the show uh, with your upcoming uh, or the album that was just released, never the same. Uh, just one love to all the people out there, and just I mean, it's tough to say, or I'm sure they've heard it before, but I mean, just try and keep the faith and hold on. Um, I mean. Uh, Looks like this whole year is a write-off, but who knows? Uh, it's been uh, challenging for a lot of people, including myself. So uh, I'm right there with everybody else. And, uh, you know, uh, we are going to make it to the other side. It's just, mm -hmm. uh, it's just a test for us right here. And, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, uh, it's a big test, but... I think we'll be yeah. all right. Yeah. As I've heard uh, someone say once, uh, it's just another hiccup in the road. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Okay, Simon. So I really thank you enormously for uh, making the time today for the show. And uh, I wish you uh, love and, and uh, support and continued success in your music career. Thanks, Peter. And thanks just for the opportunity uh, to spread the word. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you, actually. And um, I, I, I love the vibe of your program, actually. And uh, yeah, um, thanks for having me. And when more music is available, uh, we're going to be doing another video for, for my first track from the new album. It's called, uh, first track's called um what is the first track on the new album um let's move ahead sorry yeah so we're gonna be filming a video for that song i think in about a week so great so will you be uh uploading it on youtube for, for sure yeah okay great i look forward to that and what's the name of it again Let's move ahead. Let's move ahead. Well, yeah. I can't be any more appropriate than right now. Let's move ahead. Mm -hmm. And is that something you wrote uh, during the pandemic? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. If anything, I mean, I know I, I, I'm a bit of a songwriter myself, not to your level, of course, but it's, <clears throat> I haven't written a song in years and uh, somehow the pandemic inspired me to write uh, five songs. <laughs> just a matter of a few hours, a few few weeks but uh well, um, the time a lot of people are going a lot of people are going inside you know yeah yeah deeper uh into their themselves and and uh, that's where creativity uh really comes right, right. Point. okay so thank you again uh humble you've been great and uh I love your music. Keep on going. I'm going to close the show with your latest song uh, that came out July 11th, Never the Same. I never needed someone Till you came along I never needed someone Till you came along One time, you see I I was never the same again The same again One time, you see I, see I Yeah.